the Transporter 2002. Frank Martin, Jason Statham, is a highly skilled driver known only as the Transporter. The titular character is a former Special Forces officer who, disillusioned with his former leadership and tortured by the memories of his past, now lives on the French Mediterranean coastline with a lucrative backup career. He will transport anything, no questions asked, from point A to point B, always on time, and he is known as the best in the business. He strictly follows three rules when transporting. Rule number one, no new deals, when it's a deal, it's a deal. Rule number two, no names, and rule number three, don't open the package. Frank has been hired to transport three men, 254 kilos. When not three but four men get into his car, fresh from a bank heist, Frank refuses to move, holding fast to rule number one. After one gang member is killed by the others, Frank leaves with the remaining robbers. On delivery to their destination, they foist new money on Frank to drive further from the city. He refuses the deal, again adhering to rule number one. The robbers escape in another car, and Frank leaves. Frank returns to his mansion in the south of France, and he finds out via the news that the gang was caught after crashing their getaway car in a pursuit. Later, local police inspector Tarconi, Francois Berlin, who happens to be a close acquaintance, arrives to question Frank about the robbery, since his make and model of car was the same used in the robbery. However, despite his suspicions about Frank's involvement, Tarconi has no concrete proof about the heist, due to Frank cleaning up the car and changing the license plate, and leaves his villa. Frank is then hired to deliver a package to an American gangster, Matt Schultz, known only as Wall Street. During the way, he notices that something is moving in the package, but he refuses to open the bag due to rule number three. While changing a flat tire on the road in France, he breaks one of his rules and opens the package that was placed into the trunk at point A. He finds the package is really a woman, and he makes a small hole and gives her a bottle of juice to drink. He delivers the package as promised to point B. Wall Street suggests Frank to transport a briefcase to the new position. Frank reluctantly accepts the job. He takes the briefcase and leaves. On the way, he stops at a gas station to eat and rest for a little while. But the briefcase turns out to be a bomb that destroys Frank's car in the parking lot but leaves him unharmed. Frank snaps and returns to Wall Street's residence with a vengeance, dispatching several of his henchmen and then stealing a car to get away, only to find the package tied to a chair in the back seat. Later on, he returns to his house and unties the package who tells him that her name is Lai Shuchi. The next day, Tarconi arrives again and makes the usual inquires, producing a scorch license plate and the suspicion that a housemaid drives a Mercedes. Lai supports Frank's alibi leaving Tarconi with no proof again, who didn't notice that the front light on the car was broken. However, after he leaves, missiles rain down on Frank's house and Frank and Lai are barely able to escape the house into the sewer, swimming away from the house before it completely explodes. They hide in an apartment in the city, but Tarconi finds them and takes them to the police station for questioning about the destruction of Frank's house. At the police station, Frank and Lai are able to deflect Tarconi's questions, and Lai manages to sneak onto Tarconi's computer to access information on Wall Street. She tells Frank that Wall Street is trafficking two shipping containers full of Chinese people including her own father and family, and is planning to sell them into slavery. Lai and Frank go to Wall Street's office to find the shipping docket identifying the containers. However, Wall Street reveals that Lai's family is not in the containers. In fact, her father is the man responsible for the human trafficking. Tarconi, who was following Frank, then arrives at the office. Wall Street and Lai's father accuse Frank of kidnapping Lai and attempting to blackmail them. Unable to prove otherwise, Tarconi has Frank arrested and locked up in the station. At the station, Frank does his best to explain the situation to Tarconi. Tarconi agrees to abet Frank's escape as his foe hostage. Frank then tracks the criminals to the docks, where they load the containers onto trucks. However, Frank is spotted and is forced to fight his way through the guards, failing to stop the trucks. He then steals a small airplane and parachutes onto one of the trucks, killing Wall Street and a number of his henchmen. After getting out of the truck, Frank is then ambushed by Lai's father. However, Frank is saved when Lai shoots her own father. Afterwards, Tarconi arrives with the police and they rescue the people trapped inside the containers, and Frank and Lai help to load them in the ambulances as the film ends. 
The transporter drives a BMW in the first film and an Audi A8 12-cylinder W12 in the second and third films. I'm no.